everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 22. Today, guys, it's a different setting today due to such circumstances. But yeah, we're back again with the guys, with my bros, Amok. What are you saying, bro? I'm all right, you know. Uh, you I'm having hear... a cool... Yeah, I can, hear, I can hear you now. I'm all right, you know. Yeah. I'm having a cool day. Mm -hmm. Just got disappointed over the weekend, but... <laughs> It's United. We're here again. Another one. And Jex, what are you saying, bro? I'm all good, bro. I'm just hoping we don't have any technical difficulty tonight, you know? Uh, but I'm um, all good, and I'm looking forward to the show. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share with everyone. And of course, today we're going to be talking about the match against the ball draw against the Manchester City, the Manchester Derby. Of course, as well, we will also discuss... Yeah, I know, guys, it was a boring game, but we'll discuss that, we'll venture into that, we'll see what's going on. We will talk about who was the man of the match, especially Oli's tactics, the match itself, and also who was the donkey of the match. And then we're going to talk about the two games that we'll be playing today. I mean, we'll be playing tomorrow and also on Sunday, which is um, we'll be playing against Sheffield United. It's Sheffield United we're playing, isn't it? Yeah. And then we'll also look at, talk about the game against Leeds. And of course, guys, we will also discuss the Premier League weekend roundup as well because there's some games that's been happening and going on that, boy, it's been funny, isn't it? Like, Arsenal, isn't it? We have to say, Arsenal. But yeah, guys, let's go straight into that Manchester derby, that ball draw that made us all fall asleep. I fell asleep about five or six times, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how I woke up. But each time I woke up, I saw nothing happen. I was with my girl and she was like, I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, nothing's really happened. And I fell asleep again. But apart from that, guys, tactics, I don't even know if any of these players wanted to win. The tactics as well with Oli, I don't know. But some people say that we played well. Some people say that we didn't. The manager thought that we played well. Out of all those derby matches he's won, that he's won three, this game was the best he's ever seen his team play against Manchester United. Not the, team, not the games that we won, guys. Not the games that we won. But yeah. Jags, let's start with you. What do you think about that match? Let me hear your opinion. The worst thing about that game was knowing that I had to talk about it afterwards. <laughs> that game was awful, dreadful. Um, <laughs> I think we had maybe two opportunities. I can remember the Scott McConaughey um, opportunity in the first half, and then obviously Rashford was the penalty, but he was just a fraction offside. Um, I'm just shocked that Oli thought that that was the best performance we've had against City over the past couple of seasons. I don't know what game that guy was watching because from what I saw, it was a dead game. But I'm happy with the point. Mm -hmm. I know we're at Old Trafford, we should do more, but this season we haven't really done anything at Old Trafford. We've been losing and drawing. So I'm happy with the point, but um, board, board draw, man. The sooner we can forget about that game, the better. And Amuk, my boy, what are you saying, fam? What was you saying exactly about that match against Man City, that boring, dead game? I was just happy that We've played Man City and got away with it. Now we go to face them at Etihad, and that's next season. Um, um, the second second half of the season, right? Like he lot said, it it was a very very boring match. Like if managers think that it was a very good match for both teams, I felt like that's the worst I've seen between both teams in recent years. Either we lose to Man City, we've been playing good like possession, everything. Not like Manchester did terrible against Man City. It was just like the game did not have any thrill. There wasn't any competition. There wasn't anything to be excited about. So for me, it was one of the most, I don't want to say terrible, because I might be disappointed early, but obviously that was one of the, that's for between both teams. They should have shown quality. Both teams got quality to show that much. All headlines said awful and boring match between Manchester United and Man City. But like um, I can go with what Jack said, we take the point because usually we should lose, but we got a point. So 
creativity, Jeff just said it. What else did we see rather than them two opportunities? But thank God we got away with it. And cool. And Jex, let me ask you a question. What did you think of Manchester City's way of playing on that game on that game? They were they were a bit sloppy, they looked a little fudgy, but of course they did keep possession. But was you surprised of the way Manchester City played themselves? If you were to ask me at the start of the season, I'd say yes. Um I'm gonna put yourself on mute. <laughs> Are you saying Jake? That's for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so at the start of the season, I would have been surprised, but looking at the way they've played this season, the way they've carried on, even the other day, they just drew against West Brom, didn't they? It didn't really surprise me. They could have been a bit more clinical. I reckon a fit Aguero would have been the difference in that game. Jesus had a chance. He should have put that away. Um, De Bruyne should have stuck one away, I think, as well. So... A bit surprised by how they played, but not really. They've been up and down all season, a little bit like us. And the Premier League table shows that, doesn't it? Cool. And Amuk, and what exactly do you see in Manchester City play that way against us? Do you think we was lucky or do you think Manchester United actually had an opportunity? Because, of course, Manchester United did have a fair chance of the ball as well. It's not like Manchester City dominating possession. Man City had an average of about around 57%. So did you think in this game we could have had opportunity or were you just surprised with Man City's performance? Um, I wouldn't say I was surprised with Man City's performance. I would say you said that the last, I think the last year, the, I can't remember, is the episode 20 or 19, saying teams found out how Oli play, that the teams that we dominated last season, Chelsea and Man City, you predicted this to happen, but not how the game turned out. Because you said all these teams are going to find out how Oli set his team. And when Oli faced them this time around, it's going to be difficult for Oli. And I felt like that's what Man City did that day. He changed his team a little bit around just to fit how we play. And we all saw what happened. But Man City would turn up. The last game before us, they smoked that other team. They still got that. Passing, they still got it. It's just like they're not consistent with it. It's like week in, week out, just like us, what Jack said. So for me, I felt like Pep changed his strategy a little bit just because of what happened last season. Like he said, between Chelsea and Manchester United, and Chelsea, Manchester United and Man City. And of course, guys, we us during, I believe, for at least a seventh with a good opportunity to go get to the fourth position depending on what the scores are with Chelsea. But, and also as well, we have Liverpool playing Spurs as well. So guys, do you, do you think after that game, there's an opportunity for Manchester United to climb up to fourth and get into a good position? I'll start with you, Jex. Of course, most definitely. I feel like the next two games we have, first of which I believe is Sheffield United. They've had the point in the last like 12 games, so I'm expecting nothing from a, nothing but a win in that game. Um, we've got a big derby against Leeds. Again, we need to collect three points. This is a perfect opportunity to go on a little run now. I want to see us win the next maybe three, four, five games. And we'll be sitting in top two most likely because the way these other teams are playing, they're all dropping points. Liverpool are playing Tottenham tonight. One of them are going to drop points. So it's all open for everyone, man. It's all open. And considering how bad our start was, it's shocking that in the next two weeks, we could be sitting in the top four. So it's definitely an opportunity to go on a little run now. And Amok, what do you think? Um, literally, Jex was just saying everything that I think. Because <laughs> what we do right now, because like I said last time, I'm actually surprised we're still sitting in the, like we were saying with a very good games coming in to play like if we keep winning games like we win the next five games in a row like we should be saying like run second like that's with whatever happens in the Premier League right now because big teams been facing big teams so just know when that happens teams going to lose points and we see what we saw what happened to Chelsea yesterday 
and hopefully Liverpool in Tottenham draw today. So if that happens, it puts in a very good position to be sitting either second or third. And if we do that, finishing this year within that, then that, was, that I think that would be a very good thing for us. But I still got believe in, I still believe in the players. I still believe that we can get there because we got players that got very good quality. It's just that is the manager ready to do what he's supposed to do for the players to, to show that that monster, that base. We want to see a different side of United. We want to see clearly a different type of football. A little bit more excited. Okay. So, yeah, guys. Apart from that, it was a ball draw. Hopefully, Manchester United can pick up the points now and pick up the performance against these teams that we have, especially against Sheffield United. I can see us winning. These tricky game, I can see us winning. But we talk about that later, guys. We go straight into the Premier League weekend, of course. Of course, we saw a round of games. We saw fixtures. We saw we saw Tottenham win. Actually, no, we saw Tottenham draw. We saw Liverpool draw. We also saw um, Chelsea as well. Did it? They, they they lost Chelsea losing twice back to back, as of course. And we also we saw Arsenal losing as well. And guys, I'm very sure you watched a, a tons full of games in, on the weekend. Let's talk to, let's take it straight to you, Amok. Which game was your game of the week? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, start again. Um, obviously, it's going to be the Arsenal match. Just see what they went through. And the drama in that match was, I don't know, like, I've, I'm 29 years old. I think I watch football. Like, we all, I've got two kids. I'm not a professional footballer. But I'm just a parent. When I find myself in this situation, I always go behave myself. Not just because I go behave, just because I got people that follow me. And the performance by Arsenal players that day, Jaka and this lot, you don't play like that. So for me, just the drama in the match, that's actually, nothing can beat that. And at the end of the day, they lost to Zor, <laughs> which was a very, very good thing. Yeah, it was it, it was quite funny to see um, Arsenal lose. And you know what's funny? The person who scored their own goal is the striker that, you know, <laughs> hasn't been scoring goals, which is Aubameyang. So he finally got frustrated and said, you know what, I'm going to score regardless. I don't even care if it's my own team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm being rusty. I need to know I, I still got it. And he still got it. He still got it. <laughs> Jax, what about you, Jax? What was your game of the week? And I'm if can you put yourself on mute? Um, it would definitely have to be that Leicester game against Brighton. I was envious at how Leicester were just packing them in because I was thinking, wow, when it was our turn to play Brighton, we was moving like Brighton had the best defence in the world. Leicester, um, two goals from Madison. His last goal, whew, what a phenomenal strike that was. Top bins, week of 40, curled it round. That was a very entertaining game. And Leicester are looking like a very good team under Brendan Rodgers, you know. Um, how far they can go this season, I'm not too sure. But watch out for Leicester. They're looking very good. Their attack is looking potent. So that would definitely be my game. As we speak right weekend. now, Leicester are losing to Everton. One Is it still 1-0? I think so. I think so. Yeah, Rich, Richard Robinson scored that goal. Um, yeah, like we said earlier, everyone's dropping points. Everyone's dropping points. Let's talk a little bit yeah. about our Arsenal game, obviously, because this is sec- this is a secondary Arsenal fan channel as well. Because obviously, this is our <laughs> one of our favorite London teams. Let's <laughs> talk about. But yeah, Awuk Shaka, what the hell was he thinking? Putting his hand on a player, like, come on, come on! You know everything's been recorded. He knows everything's been recorded, but he still did it. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. And with with Arsenal. I'm definitely Arteta out now. I am Arteta out with guys. Arsenal fans, I'm Arteta out. You know what's funny? Um, DT said something, I think, two weeks ago, saying we've been they, they've been complaining about Wengar and all the other managers that came in, like they got like two, three managers since they lost Wengar and that. See, but the players, some of the players are still there. They've played between all these managers and nothing has changed. 
And he said, don't you think it's time for them to actually invest in bringing new players? And you just mentioned Xhaka. What Xhaka did, DT got so upset that I really got upset. I felt like you're professional, you're paying, you're getting paid to kick ball around. At least what you can do in that pitch is make good decisions and be a professional. Like you got, you, you just got booked. How are you going to get someone, grab someone by the neck and... He actually thought no one will see that. He actually did. But this is the we same guy... We live in a modern... <laughs> this is the same guy who, who swore at the fans when he got sent off. Was it not last season or two seasons ago? This guy is... It's not surprising. Jack is a reckless guy, man. I thought he should have gone maybe one or two seasons ago. So why... The fact that he's still there is a bit of a shock. It's a bit of a surprise for me, you know? Ah, I hear you. Guys, let's go straight into the weekend game that we'll be playing, especially the game tomorrow against Sheffield United. Guys, obviously, I'm a bit confident, but with Sheffield United's poor form, everyone knows that it's it's, it's, it's it's an easy win. It's an easy game. But you never know which Manchester United team will be turning up tomorrow against Sheffield United. So I'm 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 confident. I am a confident man, and I think right now we should win. We should be be beating Sheffield United. They are they're shit. They're shit now. They're contrast from whatever they were last season. They're not the same team. So right now they're shit. So I expect to win. I'm I'm expecting at least two to three goals. What what are you saying, Jags? Um, I'm hoping this is a game that Martial can come back and start rebuilding some of his confidence, you know. So I want him to score maybe one or two. That would be great. But nothing but three points. We need to start picking up some points. We need to go on a little run now, especially off the back of that awful, awful, awful Champions League exit. Um, Yeah, three points. And Amuk, what are you saying about that game tomorrow? Yeah, I'm just trying to be optimistic, obviously. Like you said, um, she also been a very bad, bad, bad form. Hopefully, we can go there and capitalise on that. And like you said, wherever Tim Oli picks, I believe wherever Tim Oli picks can do something. I'm really trying to be optimistic. Like, because there's nothing we can say and do that will get Oli sacked. So all we can do at night is support whatever the team is going through. And hopefully, something positive happens. But... I believe, like you said, I'm, up, I'm really I'm up with positive results. We can go there and do something. Like, I still think we can go there and do whatever. Because at the end of the day, it's the Rose Garvey. Is it the Rose Garvey? Yeah, There's a little bit of history. Garvey. And I don't want the players and to forget about that, actually, because they haven't been in this league for how long? So this is the first time both teams are facing each other. There should be a little bit of fight better than the Man City match. And this is so. against Sheffield United that we're talking about. The Rose yeah, that's what I'm saying again. Later. Oh, the Rose Derby, yeah. Yes, but we move straight in. But thank you, Awuk, for that Rose Derby opinion. What? So what, do you think we're going to win against Leeds? Definitely. Yeah, I did say definitely we're going to win. I say we, we have to win. Like Jack said, they might have come in and do something, but we have to win. And definitely we should win. And Jax, what are you saying against the game, against Leeds? Ah, it's just a shame that we can't have the fans there, you know, because the atmosphere would be popping, you know. That's a big derby. For the young bucks out there, for the young bucks out there that don't know about the Leeds Man United derby and rivalry, go on YouTube and have a look, man. There's been some big, big games. Um, That's true. We have to win. We have to win. It's not about whether we should or not. We just have to win. So it's another three points. And plus we're at Old Trafford. So even more reason to get three points. Cool. That's, for me, my personal opinion, I think it will be a tricky game against Leeds, um, especially with the old rivalry that we've had. So I, I can expect that Leeds will be up for it. They'll all be up for it. It's whether Manchester United will be up for it because like I said before, we don't know which team will be turning up. It could be the team that's got a boner. It could be the team that's got a semi. It's got. A, it could be the team that don't have it hard on it. They're not ready for it, bro. Get me? Your your face is like that thing. No, you have to get the analogy. 
basically, if you ain't got one, they're on it. They are on it. Yes. You know? You get me? Remember, remember Louis Van Gaal said, yeah, my players are not horny. They're not horny. They're not horny you know, enough to play the game. See? Exactly. So they go there with floppies. You get me? Away games, they got bonus. All of a sudden. Like my, my guys, I will said, you know, especially when it goes away, yeah, they go ham. So me, what I'm saying is that away games, Manchester United go there with a boner at home. They ain't, they ain't about this. So, guys, at the end of the day, we have come close to the end of the show, of course. Of, of course, I'll say thank you for watching as well. You get me? Thank you for watching in this type of format. Of course, it'll be the same. It might not be the same next week, but it could be the same next week, depending on whatever happens next week. But yeah, guys... We'll start off with you, Jex. Where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Jex underscore United. Yes. And Amok, where can the people find you? I'm not used to this, like I said, I but yeah, <laughs> it's pretty flock on the school six days. Say nothing. Guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. And of course, remember to subscribe, to follow the official Red United account, which is Red United TV one. And of course, remember, if you want, you can follow my personal Instagram account, which is I've read underscore spy, same as the Twitter, same as the Snapchat as well, guys. And of course, guys, we see you next week. Remember to keep it united. Of course, and remember to keep it Red United as always. We out, guys. Peace out.